It's been a while since I last recorded. I've been too busy with work, with plans, with family, with a bunch of things. I've bought new products throughout the time. New foundation, new blush, new bronzer, new highlighter. Um, new palettes as well. I might do something that I've done before, I'm not sure. It all depends on me, obviously. <laughs> Today's music theme is just gonna be my passion for cumbia. I love to dance it, I love to sing it, I love to listen to it. It's my passion, it really is. As I was saying, I'm gonna get this thing started because I got things to do, so. Um, in the meantime, just enjoy the cumbias the whole time while I talk my shit. <laughs> also, just to be specific with what palettes I'm gonna be using, 24A Morphe and the Norvina volume shit <laughs> I think the volume 2 yes so because it's gonna be a blue green eyeshadow look I get the blues from here and then any other color that I need like green and stuff from this I got the color called green room from the artist past palette the Morphe one started blending that first usually I like to start from the crease to the top but I'm gonna start from the very, very top of my eyelid and start off with the blending color first. Well, the lightest color first. <laughs> this part is very critical, well, at least to me, because I feel like it, it, it kind of makes your eyes pop. Or is that just me? I don't know, but just listen though. <laughs> I'm gonna be using the, well, I'm using the Morphe M573 brush. It's a good fluffy one. And that's pretty much it. We want to keep it light. We don't want to do too much on it. We don't want to make it too dark, too whatever. Just keep it light, soft, gentle. Okay, up next is going to be this fluffy guy. What is that? M321? It M321 is on the top of my dome because I can't even see that. Now what I did was get the eyeshadow color in C4. Usually I don't put this much on this part of my eye, but today I did because the cut crease that I'm going to do is a little different. It's only going to be from this top to the bottom, like a pizza slice. Imagine it like that, like a pizza slice. Let's get to working with the blending so you get an idea of how I want it to be. What I'm going to do after is make the color a little darker here. I'm not sure if to use black or a darker blue, like a navy type thing, but... I, I don't know, me personally, I want it a little more potent. Other people don't, but I do. So That's up to you, that's optional how you want to leave it. I'm back with the N321 brush by Morphe using the Ruler T5 from the Marvina 2 palette. I put it there, because remember I said that I wanted it a little more stronger, and it doesn't look a huge difference. It's gonna work a little bit on the blending right there, but... We'll be fine. We're gonna start doing the cut crease right now. because my camera died, I had to charge it real quick. But I'm gonna show how I do the navyish blue and how I'm gonna blend it. So I started off by going like that. And then the darker blue that we have here, I'm just gonna start dragging it. For my lash line, I use the Lash Freak Mascara. The 
Mrs. from Urban Decay, my mom gratis. And then it will get the work done. Lastly, to finish off and complete the eyeshadow look, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Glitter Gel in Year of Firework. I'm not sure if they still sell these. I've had this for a while. It's messed up. Super pretty. Um, it applies easily. Look at the inside. In my opinion, the best thing you can do is invest in a glitter gel. Very easy to apply. You don't gotta worry about putting any glue, nothing like that, and it won't fall off. That's the best part. As long as you don't scratch your eye or anything like that. So basically, the same thing I did on my other eye. So I'm gonna put on this eye. We're gonna drag it below the lash line. Before I go, I felt fucked up that I didn't say what I used on my lips. I used the Morphe in And then for the lip liner, I used the lip liner in shade Espresso by Nick. I feel so bad. <laughs> I'm a zoom in for y'all.